Well, it's not unusual to have the state legislature mm -hmm. ask voters to approve a ballot measure, but this year, a ballot measure is asking voters to approve or reject a state law passed by Democrats. And a yes vote on Proposition 113 upholds the law. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, gives an ad by its supporters a reality check. We see a lot of ads about who we should elect for president. This ad about how that person should be elected. Supporters of Proposition 113 say it should be according to the national popular vote. Living in a democracy should mean one person, one vote, and that every vote counts equally. But our outdated system of electing the president doesn't work that way. That's opinion. The Electoral College, our system for choosing presidents, is old. It's in the Constitution, but that doesn't make it outdated. And there are different kinds of democracy. Most of our elections are direct democracy. One person, one vote, and majority rules. But our government operates as a representative democracy, where we elect people to vote on our behalf, people who represent majority and minority interests. The Electoral College designed with that in mind. But it's not perfect. Proposition 113, an effort to fix it. Voting yes ensures every voter is counted equally, and the candidate who gets the most votes becomes president. That's true, but there are trade offs. If elections are decided by who gets the most votes nationwide, the states with the most voters will invariably get the most attention, as will big cities and urban issues. But even California, Texas, Florida, and New York combined make up only a third of the population. So candidates will also need support from smaller states and rural areas, too. Still, Colorado makes up less than 2% of the population. Seems unlikely we would matter a whole lot. That said, we don't matter much now. Only swing states do, and we're no longer a swing state. That may change. For now, though, Colorado is of marginal importance, whether we elect a president based on a winner-take-all national vote or, as we do now, a bunch of separate winner-take-all state elections. So here's what's really at stake. While Proposition 113 keeps the current Electoral College, it changes how electoral votes are awarded. Right now, all but two states award all of their electoral votes to the winner of their state's popular vote. And the candidate with the most electoral votes wins the election. That tends to be the candidate who wins the most votes in all 50 states. But there have been five times in history where the person with the most electoral votes did not have the most overall votes. Donald Trump the latest. If Proposition 113 passes, Colorado would join an interstate compact, promising to award all of our electoral votes to the winner of the national popular vote, not state popular vote. That is, if enough other states agree to do the same. The compact doesn't kick in until states with a combined 270 electoral votes join, the amount needed to become president. So far, the compact includes 196 electoral votes in 15 states plus D.C. Bottom line, Proposition 113 is about more than one person, one vote, or which state matters most. It's about whether Colorado's electoral vote should go to the person who wins the most votes in Colorado or the person who wins the most votes nationwide. Opponents say we shouldn't have to give our votes to someone who loses Colorado. Supporters say we're not electing the president of Colorado, but the president of the United States. Both arguments worth consideration. I'm Sean Boyd. That's Reality Check.